This video is part one of Slam Robot using Ross video series that we are going to make on this channel. First, let's see what is Slam. Simultaneous localization and mapping, S-L-A-M, is pretty much like a chicken and egg problem, but for a robot. You don't know where you are. You want to know where you are in the environment, but at the same time, you also want to know how the environment looks like. It is a task of making a map of its surroundings and at the same time locating itself in that map. Robots need it when they are navigating in unknown environments or partially known environments. Where is it used? Let's take an example of a house cleaning robot. The task is simple. The robot just needs to cover the entire floor in order to clean the room. The simplest way will be to make the robot move in incremental straight lines. Whenever the robot hits the wall, move to the next line, now let's put a chair in the room and let the robot do the same thing. You see the problem. This part of the room is uncleaned. Now what if the robot had some way of knowing the presence of that chair and navigating around it? And let's take one more scenario. Let's add a charging station for the robot. The robot is at another corner of the room. How can it come to the charger in the most efficient way? If only there was a way for the robot to know its location as well as the charging station's location in the room. We are going to give our robot exactly these abilities. We will understand more while building the robot. Let's start with the hardware. I started with a 9 cross 6 inch MDF board, cut it into half. On one of the half, I then attached these 3D printed spacers. On top of the spacers, these M3 threaded inserts are fitted with soldering iron. On the bottom front, there is a spacer for the caster wheel. And on the back, these are two brackets for stepper motors. These are NEMA 17 stepper motors with a 3D printed wheel. The wheel has a grip made from a timing belt. I choose stepper motors first because they run in steps of known angle, and I think it will be really helpful in dead reckoning and second because I already had them. While I assemble these, maybe you can watch this gameplay. You can see the board is bending with very small force. To prevent this, I am going to use this 3D printed piece to provide some extra support. This really made a huge difference. Now let's assemble the top piece. This is where I am going to keep the rest of the hardware, and it's also going to provide some height to the camera. Let's quickly assemble the rest of the electronic components, and then I will try to explain how this all is going to work together. Here I am connecting motors with the drivers. The entire circuit is powered with the 3S18650 cell battery with a switch. Turning on the switch powers the entire circuit. This is R Pi 4 in a 3D printed case. This is Xbox Connect. It has a RGB camera and an IR camera with an IR dot projector to collect depth data. If you have any questions related to how I converted Connect from Xbox Connector to USB 3 Connector, you can check the description. This camera is connected to RPi4 with USB cable. The Arduino Nano on the bottom circuit is also connected using USB cable. For powering the RPi, I am using Power Bank for now. Let's try to understand the working of all the components. On a broad level, everything can be divided into two parts things that are there on the robot, and an outside computer. We have two stepper drivers connected to the Arduino Nano. These will drive the motors. We also have the inertial measurement unit. This will tell us the acceleration and velocity of the robot. Arduino Nano receive its control signals from Raspberry Pi. The other function of RPi is to get RGBD data from camera and send it to computer. All the processing and heavy lifting is done by the computer outside. This is how the finished hardware looks. Not that good, but it will get the job done. Here the robot is running with keyboard inputs. It's not that smart yet. I am only testing the motors. And this is RGBD camera test video with RPi. 
Again, if you are interested in knowing how I got Connect to work with RPI, please check description. Subscribe if you want to see SLAM being implemented on this.